Hi everyone. So in this lecture, we will be going over common display option under GD Designer 3. Oh, I got it name wrong. Let me fix that real quick. Okay, so to get the common display, you go under Optic and go to Common Display. And you have three options. You can either pick up a bit comment or a word comment or a simple comment. We'll start with the first one, which is bit comment. We'll bring it up here. And if you see, it's set up for... a uh, it defaults to the first uh, comment list that you have and it's based on a bit so you can only have two states of it so here you can give it a shape this more or less acts like an indicator or a lamp since you only have two bits and you can come up here and you can do a comment number and it can point to a screen also if you notice up here you can change the comment group rather than being fixed you can make it to a device so you could switch your comment based on, for example, what screen you're on or what manual function you're trying to run and show the comments for that and things of that nature. So, uh, but this being a bit common, you only have two values of on and off and you can specify what you want to show when the on, on is there and off is there. So, but you only have two values here for both. And you can change the off to on by clicking on this. Now you can have two different kinds but that's about it as far as the flexibility goes then you can go to the extended option which is similar to the past ones we looked at you can change the uh, display row and the number of common displays this could be also based on a fixed value or device you can use an offset then you have a trigger which shows by which you can hide or show the common window and you can have different conditions on here for the trigger if something's uh, flashing or stuff like that then you can add a script which is we'll go over the script in detail in the script function so so that's what we have on the bit display now we'll try and bring a uh, a word display here so we go to this we drop in so the only difference between this and the bit is you can have a deregister also up here you can switch between bit and word you can give it a shape and then you can go to common and here you have three different types you can have a common number you can do an indirect device so your comment would be based on the device of your D register here and you can just hold basically hold the comment that you want to show so usually you would use the indirect device number a lot more than anything else and down here you can do a preview so by doing indirect device it's going to point to the D register here and you you can use this for like your uh, sequencing like what's happening on the machine if it's on for example if you're running a machine it's on step 5 you're waiting on a operator input then you it may go to step 10 so you would you have your sequence register here and you would have comments written up here so that's about it for the comment. You can add multiple steps to it and show different colors if you want and things like that. So yeah, that's what we have as far as the comment goes. And uh, yeah, that's about it on the word comment display. Now the third option here you have is a simple comment. Like it means it's, basic, it's a simple comment display. You don't have a lot of functions that you had on the other ones. The only thing you have is you can control the display or hiding based on a register. So that's about it on the simple comment. There's not a whole lot here. So, so yeah, I'll see you in the next class now. Thank you.